All right, guys, so today we're back in Northport, Alaska. Like I said, um, man, it was really hard for me to get away from Yukon, but we already started Alaska, and I kind of want to do these in a sequence. I don't want to jump around too much. I really only went to the Yukon just to check it out because it was new content, but here we are back in Alaska, and today we are going to be doing um, the Blackbird contracts because the other contract that we started now brings us to a different map, and I don't really want to do that just yet. So we're going to be doing the mountain delivery contract, and we have to pick up four oil barrels, and we have to deliver them to the service hub. So I did bring over the um, Western Star 49X. For the simple reason, um, well, I, I brought over all of those. I, I put all of them uh, in the storage so we can have our pick. I don't generally leave anything on the maps. <laughs> I like to bring them all with me, so... So this truck already had the crane on it. So that's why I decided to go with this one, and... I do like this truck, but we're not going to just use this truck. So probably the next job, um, we'll switch. Maybe we'll use the GMC, because I do like that truck too, and I haven't driven that one in a while. Back to Alaska, though, and it's it's kind of fitting. The Christmas season is upon us. So it's fun to kind of drive around in the snow. Unless you're actually driving in the snow in real life, then, you know, that is not too fun, but... So unfortunately, where we have to go, we've been quite a bit... <laughs> We've, uh, we've seen this run a lot, but not much I can do about it, so. And I'm not going to cut it out uh, just because. I don't think I really need to. Okay, so it should be the next left. There we go. It's very familiar, but... We are going to use the crane to get the barrels, just because I like to do it a little realistically. See, I think it's weird that... Wait a minute, did I have to take one of those? <laughs> Let me check the map. Um, do I have to... Actually, yes. Okay. All right, back it up. All right. So, uh, I know a lot of people, for some reason, don't like this truck, but I really don't understand what their problem is with it. I think it gets the job done. I think the problem is, because it's a DLC vehicle, uh, maybe people want it to be super overpowered. And it's definitely not. I mean, it's, you know, it's not an overpowered vehicle. But, you know, I don't know. I like it. I like it. I don't think it's bad. It's definitely not the worst vehicle in the game. You know, but then again, I play differently. I don't mind taking my time. I don't need something that zooms through here and makes everything too easy. Okay, I'm going to go back into cab view. And I know some of you guys don't really like the cab view because you want to see the scenery. And I get that, but some of these areas like this, it's just easier to see in the cab. Now, again, I don't even have the diff lock on, so I don't think this truck is doing that bad at all. And the other thing, too, I feel that just the Yukon is more difficult. The mud in the Yukon is just so deep. Okay, I have to check the map again because I have to s make sure I don't have to take this fork. And no, I definitely don't have to take that fork. Okay. 
so we'll go up this way. Let's see, I might be able to, yeah. Oh, just take that sign out. No, we didn't. That stayed there. Okay. I may have to put the diff lock on here. Yeah, I definitely think so. Put in a low high. Easy diff lock. There we go. Come on, baby. This is some deep snow right here. But we managed to get out. Not that big of a deal. And I didn't have to winch, so... And I am using my Thrustmaster T150 Pro. Um, I know I was talking to B24 Gaming. And if you guys don't know who that is, he's actually a Twitch streamer. And he's been streaming this game. He's a really good guy. You should go check him out. I'll put a link to his Twitch channel in the description here. But uh, he was having issues with his Logitech. With the, uh, the wheel kind of just giving out on him. So, do I have to turn here? Hold on, let me just see. Uh, no, just continue right on. Wait a minute. Where is this? Okay, is that the road there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, unfortunately, I can't help with the Logitech because I don't have the Logitech, but... I am using my wheel right now as we speak, and I'm not having any issues with it. Force feedback still feels good. So we are going to take this left here. We'll pick up these oil barrels. Now, it occurred to me that I can probably only pick up two of these at a time with this. Which is okay. It doesn't. It's not that big of a deal. Okay. Stop. Put the emergency brake on. And oh no, wait. We don't want to do that yet. Cargo management. Uh, are we, truck. Loading platform. Okay. Oil barrels. go. Alright, we will crane mode. Um, hmm. Okay. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I wanted to hide the controls. Hide controls. There we go. This is for me just a little bit more fun doing it this way, doing it yourself. There we go. And bring it in a little bit. Lift it up. So yeah, we're only gonna be able to fit two of these on this truck. Let's 
try to raise this up here. I just want to straighten these out. like that and disconnect there we go Get another one there pack that cargo This is working out perfectly here, it looks like. So let's drop that down. There we go. All right, restore the crane, unpack the cargo, and pack the cargo. <laughs> All right. So before we leave, let me just see real quick. Where does I have to go? Um, where is it? Oh, I have to deliver this. It's a mountain river. Ooh, okay. So, uh, hmm. Right away, this becomes a lot longer job than I thought it was going to be. So, how do I get over there? Uh, I guess I have to take this trail here. Yeah. All right, guys. So, I'm gonna map this out with waypoints, so I don't have to keep coming back to the map. And I will see you when I'm done with that. All right, so I, I guess we're ready to go. Now, I I feel like maybe we've been on this journey before. So, I don't know. I may cut out some of this. I, I, I don't know. Again, it'll all depend on how long it takes. change that camera angle the funny thing is I believe I was at Mountain River already or yeah Mountain River but I don't remember if I unlocked all the towers or not Okay, so yeah, we have to go back this way, so I think I'll catch up with you when we get to the uh, the tunnel for Mountain River. Okay, guys, so here we are at the, uh, the tunnel to the Mountain River, but what occurred to me was I need two more loads of, of oil, so... If I do this, I'll have to bring this truck back and get two more and get another load. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to grab another truck and I'm going to get the next load and bring that up here and then possibly bring this truck to Mountain River, come back, bring the other truck to Mountain River, and I think I'll have a trailer for it and try to get the trailer on this or we can winch it 
or we can do something like that. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to grab another truck. And the next time I see you guys, I should be back at here with the, uh, the other two loads of oil. Ooh, okay, so this definitely wasn't the easiest trip with this truck. Um, I got stuck in one spot where, man, it just wouldn't move, so I had to detach the trailer, and I had to winch it. But I would imagine all these oil barrels is a pretty heavy load for this pickup truck. So with that being said, I feel like it's not really doing that bad of a job. I mean, it's, it's a big job for, for the truck that I'm using. It is pretty much what I'm getting to here. But we're back on the road, and we should be doing pretty good now. Although, I should probably refuel. Let's see here, utility mount. Small refract. And then the rest of the fuel that we have, I think I used to put in the Western Star. Oh, no, I forgot this water. Damn. One more hurdle. <laughs> One more hurdle to go. And unfortunately, the, uh, the path that we were on, I should have recorded it, but... I don't know how long this video is going to be as it is, but, uh, yeah, the, the, uh, the path that we were on, it was all those little pine trees, so every time I tried to winch to one, I was just snapping them. <laughs> Typical for snow runner. But, yeah, I didn't really think that this was going to be like a uh, fantastic truck to do this. Like I was going to get the job done really quick. I knew it was going to be somewhat of a challenge. But as I said, I, I really wanted to see how this old Ford would handle a job like this. And it's doing it. I, uh, I actually enjoy the challenge. Okay, so I thought I was closer to the tunnel than I am, apparently. Where the hell is this tunnel? Hold on, let me see here. How much... Oh, Jesus. I still have quite a ways to go yet. Okay, so... <laughs> it's taking me a lot longer with this truck. Oh, okay, so heh, we did like this map. I wasn't sure if we did or not, but we did. Oh, sweet. The service hub is not far. It is not far at all. So, now the question is, how do I want to do this? Um, okay. Start this up here. And move this out of the way. And maybe we'll move it down just a little bit further here. Okay, put the barking brake on. Shut it off and... Okay, guys, so I have to go back to the other map, so... I will see you when I get that vehicle over here. Alright, so here we are. <laughs>
back in the Ford, back in Mountain River. Um, what the hell? Is this downhill or something? What is going on here? I'm just kind of rolling down like I'm in neutral, but I'm not. I don't know what's going on here. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on? And my other truck is moving. This is crazy. Okay. Stop, 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 stop. Is this a glitch or is this just ice? Because I have my handbrake on and it just keeps rolling. What the hell is going on? Oh man, I don't know if this is a glitch or what. Let's detach the trailer though. And move this up out of the way. Okay. Shut that off. And we'll change trucks. What the hell? Uh, I don't know what's going on here. Yep, there we go. That's... Man, okay, I guess these roads are just that icy. Okay, so let's, uh... Go up here or something, man. I don't know. This is strange. Um... Let's go attach winch. Um, there. And... There. Come on. Where's that going? Oh. Okay, where's that going? Okay, sweet. So, I don't know what was going on with that. I don't know if that's, uh, man, if these roads are just that icy or what. But we are on our way again, and it's just up over here somewhere. I hope there's an interest to this. I think I do remember this map a little bit. <laughs> Come here now, now that we're on it. Put all wheel drive on anyway here. And this should be the job. So, okay, so let's just get in here and drop this stuff off and be done with this mission, shall we? Cargo management. Unload. Un unload. Ooh, there we go. 2,500 cash. 290 XP. Nice. Yes, we will accept. Okay. Somebody answer your damn phone, please. Service convoy. Deliver to the service hub. International Paystar 5070. Okay, so let's uh, let's take a look and see what the next job is, shall we? Blackbird. Uh, drill rig disassembly. Mountain pipeline building. More parts. Drilling parts delivery. What is just drill rig disassembly? Deliver to port, north port, oil rig salvage. North port. That's where we came from. Okay, so this is one we'll have to go back for. Um, I want to see, like, while we're here, is there anything maybe we can do? More parts. Start the warehouse. Um, 
Hmm. I have to accept these first. That's right. Duh. Okay. Let's see about the GR Enterprise. What is that? Adopt the world. Village delivery. Mountain maze. Uh, what is this one? We'll accept that. Okay. Consumables right there. Fuel. Alright, so I think in the next episode we're probably going to do some of these missions while we're on this map. I mean, kind of makes no sense not to. We'll accept all these. Cement. Consumables. Delivered to the village. Okay, yeah, so these are all on this map. Um, well, Let's see here. So the Blackbird... More parts, I believe, is on this map, so we'll accept that one as well. Drilling spare parts. Okay. That's the warehouse. Off road truck is recommended. Um, drilling parts delivery. We'll accept that. Um, like, all these are on a different map, so. Horse and mining. Or meal supplies. Okay, so we can do all these. So I think uh, probably what we're going to do on the next episode, um, let's go back to the Blackbird. Off-road truck is recommended. Make sure... I want to make sure we have a truck that can do these, so... On top of the world. Okay, so we might do on top of the world, um, or the village delivery. Maybe both of them, who knows. I mean, we could do the mountain maze. So, yeah, guys, that's, uh, that's where we're going to end the episode today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, as usual, I always have fun playing this game. Uh, you know, <laughs> I just love how you think something's going to be easy or kind of at least straightforward and then uh, you get thrown for all these loops. So, yeah, if you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.